now, isn't it? This is Scotch news. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon has been promised her, her very own My First Referendum kit yeah. for Christmas. Well, Nicola Sturgeon is pushing for another independence referendum in Scotland. Uh, I mean, the last one was supposed to be a once-in-a-generation uh, generation, yeah. uh, vote. Uh, and that was eight years ago, which isn't a generation. It's except a generation in iPhones. Well people, well, people are dying so young in Scotland yeah. now. It almost is <laughs> a generation. We're, we're basically, we're, we've got parity with badgers yeah. at the moment. <laughs> So, yeah, but she's, she's gone to the Supreme Court. Her, uh, her Lord Advocate, uh, top Scottish law person, has, right. has gone to the Supreme Court and said that, you know, oh, don't worry about the Scottish independence referendum. Uh, you know, if we hold another independence referendum, because it'll be purely advisory. It won't yeah. actually have any legal, you know, weight or any, any binding effect. Like, Obviously, like don't Brexit... Drink and drive, yeah. Well, Brexit was, Brexit was, that was purely an advisory thing. But so, they I mean, promised, obviously... didn't they? That was the thing. They added yeah. a, a sort of, my word is my bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but obviously, I mean, if it, if it came back and, you know, 90% of Scottish people, um, you know, went crazy for whatever reason and wanted independence, you know, it, they'd, have to, they'd have to make it happen. So yeah. it's a nonsense that it would be advisory. I just can't believe that there's still support for, for the SNP. They've, they've been in power for 15 years and they're paid so much money. I mean, if they left the UK, I don't know where they get all the money to, to paper over all the, all the mistakes they're making. Like, on every metric a government can be measured on, on health, education, life expectancy, drug deaths, everything, uh, corruption, uh, incompetence, everything. The SNP are absolutely failing. They get a huge amount of money from Westminster. For every £100 spent on uh, somebody in the rest of the UK, Scotland gets £126 pounds right. per, per person. That's the, that's the sort of, and it's just a bribe to sort of keep, keep them in. And it's, it's not working and they, they want to leave. And like for all that uh, Brexit has been, you know, certainly caused some economic and social and political upheavals, Scotland leaving would be way off the scale. It would be yeah. disastrous for Scotland. Imagine a hard border uh, when, you, when you drive up there and, uh, and a different currency. I mean, how would trade possibly, uh, possibly work? And Scotland does the vast majority, 66% of its trade with the rest of the UK. Yes, so it's, it's even more decisive than, I mean, the, you know, the geo, the proximity of, of Britain to Europe was pretty decisive, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, we could, could kidded ourselves that that didn't really matter, but that wasn't really the case. Yeah. But this would be... And, and I cannot believe that, uh, that, that, that they have not noticed how utterly incompetent their government has been on yeah. all other fronts, except campaigning for independence. Yeah, that's, they've thrown that's, everything that's at the that. Trouble. That's the trouble with a single-issue government. All yeah. they care about is independence, and they're failing on everything else. But the thing is, they've made it part of the, the independence claim yeah. because they blame everything that goes wrong in Scotland on Westminster. They like, oh, Westminster's why we've got three and a half times higher drug deaths than the rest of the it's UK. It's like some kind of suicide Vehicle, you know, streaming towards its target with yeah. doors flying off, and wall, you know, <laughs> wheels yeah. coming off, but it's just yeah. determined. And also, uh, Nicola Sturgeon looks like all three kids from Harry Potter. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't trust her. Pick one. Pick one. And if they if they did get independence within within a fortnight, the SNP would be complete pariahs in Scotland for dragging them into this uh, horrible yeah. political and well, economic turmoil. Well, I suppose turmoil. at that point, in a, in the same way that Nigel Farage has joined uh, the GB News and enjoying it, you know, a long Indian summer yeah. as a uh, a first-rate broadcaster, but he's done his job at that point, yeah. haven't you, I yeah, suppose, yeah. and she would be the same. Yeah. I don't know which channel would have her, though. I well, cannot... previous, previous SNP leaders have appeared on Russian television, Russian, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, uh, whatever it's called, the Russian channel that was in the UK. Do you have anything you need to say on this, Jonathan? You're oh, not wearing no. a vaguely tartan-coloured shirt. Yes, so I don't um, know if that seems <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know I was on today. The medium is the message. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. I only just got that.